Take out your tablet and stylus because we're going deep into the world of digital design on today's WD Creator Series. Hey everybody, welcome to the WD Creator Series. I'm Curtis Kingsley. Remember when you were a kid and you'd get the urge to doodle? Well, digital artist James Pack made a career out of it. Only now his doodles are complex designs featured in films and games. We went to James's studio where he showed us some of his creations and walked us through his process. Hi, my name is James Pack. I am the founder and creative director here at Squirrel Pad Studios. At Squirrel Pad Studios, we concentrate on visually communicating video games, film, and theme park ideas onto actual paper. We get all different types of visual problem solving cases. From clients in video games to film, some people that just want to design a book cover, other people actually want to create a complete intellectual property. So if a director or a story writer comes up to us with some sort of a script or a description, we can actually create a whole universe which then becomes the plot of a film or the plot of a video game. It's doing work that is mislabeled as work. It's actually doing stuff that's fun every single day. One of the most important things about being a concept designer is trying to always solve problems in a different way. So there are times when it's very collective and we work as a team. Everyone is sort of stepping on each other's toes on purpose in order to come up with a better solution, a better idea. All of the guys in here, they can draw mountains, but what does the mountain look like? Why is it in that shape? Why is it that color? Those whys are the really big questions to answer. A lot of creative services are done in the digital realm and storage and security of the file is huge. It is absolutely important for the life of any studio to survive. What happens when you're not at the office and the client calls you with that emergency and says, James, we need you to get us out of this jam. It's 1 a.m. We're in New York, we need this in an hour, man. And the fact that I'm able to access everything on that server from somewhere else has saved me a relationship with clients more than five times within the past few months. So making sure that we have a good system that has it save onto their physical local computer, have it be saved onto the centralized computer that's used as a basic server for the whole entire studio is really, really awesome. Joining me in the studio today is WD Tech expert and my BFF, Leonard Brewer. Leonard, James and his team of artists work on a ton of awesome designs. But if someone's just starting out, what's a good basic storage setup? Well, besides all of the software that they would need, um, you would usually upgrade the internal hard drives on the system. Um, you'd want something with a lot of capacity because uh, your files are usually rather large. So you would want to do that type of an upgrade. Um, also, some type of external storage, like they used a NAS. Um, so with the NAS, they could back up their systems to it, you know, store files and share them within uh, the, the company. So I get upgrading with internal drives, but how come all those artists had portable drives at their stations? Uh, the portable drives, like the Passport, are good to back up to. Um, also, because they're portability, they're good for off-site. So they could back up, copy-paste their data, take it home with them, work on files from home. Sometimes you get those last-minute work jobs you've got to do, so they'll have their files with them. Yeah, it's smart, and it definitely makes sense that they'd want to keep them safe. I mean, they make works of art, they're irreplaceable. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Leonard. That's it for this episode. You'll find everything you need to know about these products and more at WD.com. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and leave your comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on the WD Creator Series.